The queue outside Guayaquil Cemetery is a grim warning. Cesar Alvarez lost his mother a week ago to COVID-19. Now he simply wants to bury her. Most families like Cesar had to keep their loved ones' bodies at home for several days after authorities became overwhelmed by the number of dead. To protect against the smell in this tropical city, coffins are wrapped in plastic for a final farewell. While authorities claim fewer than 200 deaths from coronavirus in the whole of Ecuador, the city's morgue was overflowing. The mayor has now announced two emergency cemeteries in Guayaquil to cope with demand. Despite an early lockdown in February, videos by desperate families show a city in chaos. Corpses kept in houses, on the street, some even abandoned. Hay que decir la verdad. Sabemos que tanto en números de contagios como de fallecimientos, los registros oficiales se quedan se quedan cortos. The president's admission did little to calm the anger here. And as the frustration boils over, inside, the medics are facing an existential crisis. Seven nurses have already died and 147 are infected. Over 100 more resigned due to lack of protective gear and support. Petita's husband, Orlando, was sent home from the same hospital after doctors said they had no way to treat him. After he died, his body lay in the living room for four days before they could bury him. Despite the lockdown, authorities say as many as 3,500 people may still die from COVID-19 in this part of Ecuador alone. With vast levels of inequality and little investment in public health, Latin America is ill-equipped to cope with the coronavirus crisis. The fear in this region now is that Guayaquil may only be the beginning.